With several releases now, we've been moving more and more of our language support and inspections over to our ClangD based engine. Last time we moved our data flow analysis, or DFA, entirely over to ClangD, making it more accurate and less resource intensive. This time we've built on that by rounding out support for, or fixing issues in, some of the existing inspections that use DFA. For example, under some circumstances, if the value is changed locally through a pointer, DFA missed the update and gave an incorrect assessment. And it was the same if changed by a reference. Well now with the reworked DFA, it follows these updates accurately. Some inspections involving loops, like this one, have also been moved to the ClangD based DFA world, and now work more reliably. And we've similarly moved our analysis of simplifiable expressions to our ClangD engine. Take these Boolean conditionals, for example. Now these are simple enough, and you might think they're easy to spot manually, or maybe that you would never write them in the first place. But this being C++, doesn't take much in the way of macros or templates to make things harder for us to reason about, and that previously made it harder for our engine to reason about too. But now we get it right. We've added some new inspections too. We already caught dangling references to stack variables, We've now extended this to deleted variables. It even works in trickier loop contexts like this. In addition to these use after delete cases, we also now catch double deletions. Now these dangling pointer inspections do have a few limitations, such as only working in local scopes, with no macros or pointer arithmetic involved. But they can be very useful in tracking down some of those harder to find bugs in our code. And finally, more support for some C++20 features. We now recognize conditionally explicit constructor syntax, which is a surprisingly useful little feature when you're writing value wrapper types. And with designated initializers, completions now work when initializing base classes too. Talking of completions, we now offer a number of C++20 completions. For example, coroutine keywords like coreturn as well as constinit and constival, and the new char8 underscore t. And we've also added a new inspection when initializing variables from a value constrained by a concept. And this along with the rest of the C++20 support, dangling pointer and simplified code inspections, and building on data flow analysis on ClangD, this rounds out a solid update to inspections and language support in CLine 2020.2.